Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Continuing on with our school supply season of 2022, we're going to take a look at this pencil here, um, a Ticonderoga Renew, uh, which, by the way, uh, are available, at least here in Michigan, at the Dollar Tree stores. Um, they're available elsewhere, but Dollar Tree, uh, in their seasonal area, kind of when you walk in the store, they have a back-to-school section with all kinds of great stuff. Uh, and included there are these 10 packs of Ticonderoga Renew Pencils. The uh, cost is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, um, which is pretty much what all the things merchandise in the store costs. And so that comes to $0.12.5 cents per pencil for a Ticonderoga. Now, uh, Ticonderoga makes myriad styles of pencils and this is just one of them and they do make a natural wood pencil uh, as this is but this is made from 53% uh, recycled wood so here's the package you can see it's got the sort of they give you a little uh, visual reference of the Ticonderoga feral the famous green feral with the gold stripes. You'll notice a green eraser here uh, to suggest, you know, anything green is environmental. Uh, so, 10 number 2 HB pencils, Ticonderoga Renew. Again, 53% uh, recycled. Um, they say they are pre sharpened. They have the PEFC um, renewable resource seal. And then down here it says pencils made with 53% post consumer recycled wood. Um, then if we look on the back, Ticonderoga Renew, here is uh, an illustration or a photo of one of the pencils and then let me see if I can focus this in here basically says wood scraps are recycled and joined together to make new pencils less wood is used and less waste created pencils made with 53 percent pre-consumer recycle wood Black graphite point for smooth, easy writing, certified non-toxic. Uh, Dixon. Uh, then we have their address, website. Um, now, I see a copy right here of 2013. That's when this was designed. So, not necessarily, the, the pencils are not necessarily nine years old or were made in 2013. They were made in China. They have the Pencil Manufacturers Association seal of approval. So let's get into these pencils. Uh, here they are. So a natural wood pencil no varnish, a green foil imprint on one side, Dixon Ticonderoga has the recycle symbol, Re I guess recycle wood is how we're supposed to read that, uh, HB Soft, um, funny doesn't say 2HB it just says HB Soft and then you have the Ticonderoga ferrule that is glued on. 
Um, they generally do. They generally don't crimp their ferrules. Uh, they're, they're almost always glued on. And then we have an eraser that's glued into the ferrule. And there it is. I kind of like the, the look of the green eraser, actually, particularly on these wood pencils. Uh, but you can see where these scraps of wood are, in fact, joined together. Uh, uh, sort of with the notch and groove here, tongue and groove. I don't know what, what exactly this process is called when you marry two pieces of wood together. Not a great point on it. Let me take a few more out of the package here and see. So we can kind of do a survey. Yeah, these points are pretty weak. Um, so I often wonder if they do this little sharpen trick so you, <laughs> you can't see how off center some of the cores are. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being pessimistic there but anyways um, the sharp I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a better point on before we get to writing um, they are a hexagonal pencil smooth though I will tell you okay I mean no uh, I know it's raw wood but it, it, it they're finished nicely um, let me get some paper and we'll try it out so I put a um, put a little better of a point here on the pencil. Let's see. Okay, well, I will tell you that the pencil is very much a Ticonderoga in terms of its feel, uh, in terms of its tone, uh, um, particularly one that, you know, if you're familiar with the Ticonderoga that's made in China as opposed to Mexico, um, I don't believe that this core is any different than any other Chinese made Ticonderoga pencil. The difference then really is in the barrel of the pencil. Uh, so um, it writes, you know, nicely. Ticonderoga always says they're the world's best pencil. I think it's, it's a little hyperbolic, but um, just the same. Now that's what they claim. And I'm going to put a little, I'm trying to, really getting a lot of shadow here. Let me adjust the light. It's a little bit of a scratch, but it writes smoothly overall. It has a nice dark tone. And I think it's what we would all sort of imagine and expect from a pencil that is a number two HB. So, shall we try the eraser? This green eraser here that comes with the pencil. Okay, fair. 
I've got another Dixon product here, a pink carnation block eraser. So let's put that into the test here. Um, marginally better. Go with the Pentel. Okay. Uh, foam eraser. Oh, I didn't do something. So let me do it right now. Oh, that foam eraser works nicely. Let's do a smudge test again. Um, okay. You'll see we've got a little bit of a drag here. Not, uh, not you know, terrible but very much a drag that eh, you might have come to expect from a number two. Let's try an art gum. Oh, one more. What have I got here? How about a Mars plastic? Well, I think when you survey the erasing capability here. Overall, it erases fine. Uh, again, a little lackluster, but not, uh, certainly seen much worse in terms of the attached eraser. So, I'll give it a B- minus on erasability. We'll do a little bit more writing. Yeah, so the Dixon uh, Renew, there it is, a nice pencil overall, certainly worth, uh, you know, the 12 cents uh, Dollar Tree. If you like Ticonderoga pencils, um, this is, a, I think, a fairly, you know, uh, good bargain uh, and it is uh, particularly great if you like the look and feel of a natural pencil or you're somebody who sort of likes to um, buy products that include some sort of renewable recycling uh, in their manufacturer you might also appreciate this pencil so, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like if you're into what I do here. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.